Hello and welcome back to the Sonic Adventure 2 talk through me, the Jenna Monkey. And me, Sam the Crusader. Enjoy that plot also the last episode? Good, because we're now back to derailing it. <laughs> oh god, no, not more rap. <laughs> oh yes. We are now in one of the uh, more bizarre knuckle stages, Pumpkin Hill. Um, Thankfully though, unlike the Emeralds, there is one very easy upgrade to find straight ahead. It, oh my god, it's like Tim Burton with rap. <laughs> Pretty much. This is the Summer Claw, which allows Knuckles to dig like so. In other yeah, words, that... Knuckles use dig, it's super effective. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. In the later stages, some emeralds are hidden in within either the walls or the ground, so either fly into a wall or um, jump in the air and then press B to dig. Come on. I'm so close, well. <laughs> <laughs> I think, in memory serves, this is in one of the um, stages we um, yeah, that took me half an hour the first time I played it. Main reason be that it is a ridiculously big stage, but thankfully it's fairly easy to get around once you realize that um, down below there are three rockets that take you to each of the three mountains. So there is this one's Pumpkin Mountain, there's another one called Church Mountain, and Ghost Train Mountain. That's an interesting mountain. <laughs> yeah. Slowly, 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 there we go. Finally caught the bugger. Pretty much. And I think here we are on Ghost Train Mountain. <laughs> I think past me is lost. <laughs> past me, get up, you can get into a rocket. There we go. Oh, I think it was very close to being shot there. <laughs> oh, dude. And skulls of fire, because of course skulls have fire. <laughs> yeah, oh god, all I can think of is uh, zero punctuation and the flaming tower of weeping lava flows. Long story. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, I think uh, that this entire place would uh, have the same design philosophy as YRC. Do you know what this rock formation means? <laughs> A skull fortress. <laughs> yep. In fact, you can even see them in the background, look! <laughs> in, in this case, it's jack-o'-lantern heads. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, they look close enough to skulls. <laughs> <coughs> also, one irritating thing is that every time you uh, go near a fairly spooky object, this ghost will pop, jump out of you, and not really do damage, just waste time. It's actually fairly irritating. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine so. <laughs> Let's see... I apologize, I don't think it's that much longer. I hope there we go, thank god. So. Yeah, I was hoping as much too, because there's only so much of this ghastly rap I can take. <laughs> oh, just wait until you hear the lyrics, it won't be long now. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna break inside again, I know. <laughs> Down we go, down, down, deeper and down. <laughs> oh my god, I was just about to quote the song. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I beat you to it. And nearly there. Oh, we, yeah, we literally entered this video part with grave digging. Okay, this might just be the Bethesda fan of me coming out, but I swear I heard Knuckles say Fusro Da as he was digging. <laughs> Oh dear. And so, it's the end of this knuckle stage. You know what it's time for now? Yay! <laughs> Ridiculous! Rapping! Rhymes! And started off with the first lyric. You know me, the fighting freak Knuckles, and we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? No, really, Knuckles? <laughs> Not off to a great start, but it gets better from here. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I'm gonna hold my head, cause I have no fear. This probably seems crazy, crazy, graveyard theory. I go try to approach me and got leery. I have no snark, just what? Okay, scrambled English aside, I guess it's the ghost popping out of nowhere kind of fits to the stage, although I'm wondering why the height of fear is 
leering at him. Yeah, and furthermore, I'm not the world's biggest rap fan, but I listen to a lot of epic rap battles of history. And even just going on that, that is one of the worst flows I've ever heard. What are you saying? Just stacking words against each other like crazy, crazy graveyard theory is at the height of rap. (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly what I'm implying. (laughs) Oh, geez. Well, how about this lyric then? Ask him a question and he vanished in a second. I'm walking through valleys, crying pumpkin in the alley. Didn't seem happy, but they sure tried to get me. Had to back him up with a fist metal crackle. <laughs> what was with that last lyric? It <laughs> just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Pretty much. The funny thing is, um, I actually misheard it the, the um, first time I listened to that, so I thought it was had to back him up with a fist that would crack him. <laughs> but no, it was a lyric that made even less sense. I think it's referring to the shovel clause, but even then, there are two ways to interpret this lyric beyond that. First, he's either fighting against ghosts, in which case, how do you crack a ghost? Who are you going to call? Ghost punchers. <laughs> And the second interpretation is that he is fighting pumpkins, in which case, of course they're going to crack. They're pumpkins. You can't really claim any kind of manliness from punching them. <laughs> also, oh god, I've just realised, smashing pumpkins, I inadvertently made a... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I completely forgot that band existed. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, and finally, my favorite bit of broken English. I'm hearing someone saying you were chicken, don't be scared. It had to be the win, cause nobody wasn't there. What? <laughs> yep, <laughs> nobody wasn't there, Sven. Oh my god, that is the worst attempt to try and sound gangsta I've ever heard. I don't think he was trying to sound gangsta, he was trying to sound scared, Sven. I mean, come on, nobody wasn't there. That's <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I caught on to the fact that nobody wasn't there. Oh my god, the grammar makes me cry. <laughs> oh, jeez. And, as much as I'd love to see Sven cry, that's it for this section. Time to resume the game. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just move, move on. And now we get to see one of the coolest villain scenes of the game. Yeah, this is where the plot actually kind of starts to kick in, so, um, yeah, I suppose a little deviation before it was kind of welcome, but then again, it's a Knuckles Treasure Hunting stage, so not really. Yeah, with ghastly, ghastly rapping. <laughs> but still, I remember this cutscene from VGT. It's still oh, as yes. impressive then as it was now. As it is now, I mean. Yeah. Behold my Death Star, I mean, what? Yeah, it's also funny funny as well, because it kind of looks like Robotnik's face as well. (laughs) Giant nose and all. The giant nose of death! Pretty... You know, it's, it's really funny, but all I can think of looking at this scene is Final Fantasy. Which one? Probably seven. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All I could think of whenever I saw that green beam was uh, live stream for some reason. <laughs> yeah, now that you've mentioned it, I can kind of see what you mean. Also, fun fact. So, several Sonic fans have complained that this has caused a massive continuity error since we've seen the moon several times since then and uh, it hasn't been blown up. Sonic producer edited an interview... Oh, it's still... Uh, they haven't fixed it. It's just that in those instances, it's on the side of the moon no one sees. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, I guess it's slightly better than saying they just fixed it. True. And I'm going to love the um, dedication here, the fact that... Um, They've just seen the moon being blown up, but the police are still willing to chase after some wanted criminals. <laughs> we need that bounty! 
It may be the end of the world as we know it, but we're not allowing anarchy here. <laughs> no one is allowed to feel fine. <laughs> So this begins another shooting level, this time Mission Street, which has a theme that is unnaturally jolly, I've got to be honest. Considering that half of the moon just got blown up, yeah. And the fact that we're also on the run. Haha, <laughs> boys, robot chest high walls won't save you now. <laughs> this is a Mass Effect. <laughs> or Call of Duty, or, or Halo, or any other shooting. And wow, they've even got up digital size of tails as a one in Punis. <laughs> Although to be fair, he did blow up half of the military installation in the last part. That is true. And here we get another upgrade that makes the uh, platforming in the mecha stages a lot more bearable. The hover boots. Yeah, just about what they say on the tin. Whee! Basically that. <laughs> yeah, that's what Tails would be saying. <laughs> it's not me being an idiot, I promise. <laughs> I should also mention... Here are two fun ask ways to get easy points. Dynamite packs, since they always come in groups, and these weird bomb enemies who have multiple bombs on them that make for very easy combos. <laughs> Although, of course, you can't lock onto them for too long, otherwise they throw those bombs at you and it gets all awkward. As it kind of does whenever bombs start flying. This is really in yeah. Missile Salvo! Yep. <laughs> They're heading for the Oh god, what's that? What? <laughs> okay, that... I don't know what happened there. Glitchiness, what can I say? <laughs> it's Sonic Adventure 2, that's fair. Oh, for fact's sake! <laughs> the next four minutes of this video are going to be nothing but that. I can just oh. tell. Oh, dude. Yeah, I love the zoom stages, but I'm going to be honest, the platforming is, well... Let me put it this way. You are jumping with a mecha made out of an aeroplane. Yeah. It handles about as well as it sounds. Yep. And again, bombing a highway to get one guy. <laughs> Actually, they left their missiles lying around, though. That was nice of them. Yep. <laughs> Very generous enemies they are. Oh, that one guy tried leaping in, and then we blew up a dynamite pack in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude. Well, he's a robot. But maybe do androids dream of electric sheep? I don't know, but for the first time in... I don't know how many years. I feel compelled to say it. Robot A. Robot A. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Star or Rebecca or a guy. It this... doesn't matter which I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, it's a mecha. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, a mecha and a guy. <laughs> Man. Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2, now with more murder. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, well, Tails is a mechanic, I'm sure he can fix them but at some point. <laughs> Can't fix the splattered remains of who is inside, but still. <laughs> well, in fairness, I think these are all 100% robots, so it's okay, people, it's okay, we're not blowing up people, just robots that cost dead people a lot of money. Yeah, there's a clear difference. <laughs> Although I'd hate it to be the Ogana Countess. <laughs> oh my god, I can only imagine what his files must look like right now. So, let's see, uh, damage cost of blowing up half of the highway, the, let's see, about a million robots blowed up in the last segment. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need... We're gonna need either some serious spending cuts elsewhere, or the tax hike of the century. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe they cut back on the intelligence, and that's why everyone's mistaking Sonic for the Shadow. 
<laughs> I didn't realize that literally meant cutting back on intelligence. <laughs> oh dear. And for those of you wondering why we've got a um, large so bad with Earth, I should mention that uh, for, uh, if you're wondering why Sonic Suze looks slightly different, that's because for some reason Sega had a sponsorship deal with Soap and so they gave Sonic Soap brand shoes. I didn't even realize that was a brand. <laughs> Apparently it is in Japan. Let's see, I'm waiting for it, waiting for it. There we go, I knew they were dropping it. Oh my god, they're about to drop a bridge on me! <laughs> oh god, the trope is coming alive! <laughs> In this case, dropping the mech zombies was important. Oh yeah, that's one other thing that's kind of irritating. Um, if you get hit uh, during lock-on, even if you've already fired the missiles, you lose whatever bonus points you're about to get. This is as frustrating as it sounds. So, after, de after single-handedly destroying more bridges than I dare to count... Yep, we've reached the end of this part. I've been the Jummy Monkey. And I've been... Been the Pyromaniac Crusader. 